All right, this is the video directions for the week. So hopefully you're watching that already. Week three is the lesson plan. It's laid out for you. And it tells you everything you need to do. Your team's meeting a course, 10% of your grade. It's on Wednesdays. Your project grade, 60%. If you're an on-site hybrid kid, then you're doing the assigned Photoshop project, Illustrator project, or Animate project, depending on which class you're in. If you're an e-learner, then and you can access Photoshop from home, then you do the same projects that the kids do at school. If not, if you can't, then you go to msk12.com and you'll be doing chapter four for this week. You'll submit your results though, regardless whether you're doing the Photoshop project at school or that's assigned or you're doing the MSK 12 project, everybody submits it to be graded as a project assignment. Your test for the week is 30% of your grade and you'll be using geometrics.net to do that. Okay, so we're gonna look at that. Project three first. We'll click on that. Here's your project and it tells you if you are hybrid, full-time, or you can access Photoshop from home, then you're going to go to the website and you're going to go to project six, which is here. And you're going to follow the directions to create this water cool watercolor poster. There's lots of videos in here for you that show you how to do it. Okay. If you can access Photoshop from home or you're not a student here at school, both those things have to be true, then you're going to go ahead and do the chapter 12, chapter 4, I mean, on the msk12.com site. So you'll do that. But either way, you'll submit, at the end, guys, you submit and you submit your results for chapter 4, or you can take a snapshot and submit it that way or you are doing this project and you're gonna save it out and submit it. But you submit your project for the week in project three. Teams meeting, you click on Teams, you click Join Teams, continue on this browser, join now, and you're in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and exit. So that's how you get into the Teams meeting. After you've joined the Teams meeting, you're gonna hit your Submit button over here, hit Create, and type, I joined the Teams meeting on Wednesday, whatever date it is and whatever time it is, in order to get credit for the Teams meeting. That doesn't matter what class you're in, all classes must attend the Teams meeting on Wednesday during their period. If for some reason you can't join during your period, you can join during a different period. You just have to notify me and make sure I know that you did that. And you still have to submit during your period that you join the meeting. Test three, we'll be using Gmetrics for the rest of this the uh, quarter. You'll uh, access the Gmetrics website, gmetrics.net. If you click on this link right here, it's going to take you out to, here are video directions that explain how to access the site and step-by-step -step directions that will tell you how to access this website, okay? So that's all sitting there for you, for you to use. Quick example though, I'm going to join, go to gmetrics.net. You're going to click on this icon right here. It logged you in based on your school email address, so I'm already in. You're going to hit Certified Associate, and if you are in the Digital Design 1, you're going to do the Photoshop test. If you're in Digital Design 2, you're going to be doing the Illustrator test. If you're in Digital Design 3 or 4, then you're doing Animate. And I do have a few students that are in Digital Design 2 that are doing Animate. You know which one you're working on. If you've been working on Photoshop all year, keep working on Photoshop. If you're Illustrator, do Illustrator. If you've been working on Animate, then do Animate. So I'm gonna click on Photoshop. And you'll notice there's a concept review one, questions 39. You have two modes, training and testing. You're gonna use training mode first. It'll show you your questions. You can look at the questions, answer what you think is right, and go check it right here. It'll tell you what is the right answer. If I go ahead and hit next, it says, hey, wait a minute, you're not correct. You made a mistake. 
um, you need to group two layers in your project together. Which of the following is a fast and easy way to group? So it tells you this was the right answer. So you back up, you select the right answer, and you can hit next. Keep in mind you can hit this for help. Okay. You can do this to increase your size. If you want to save for later, like say the bell's getting ready to ring, do a save and exit, and you can do that. You can click on here to go to a specific question you want to look at. Okay. You can um, go back. All right. So those are all of those. This is the previous question. If you choose something and you think, you know what, I just want to change my mind, you can reset the whole thing right here. Okay. So those are all the things you do. You finish the entire test. There's no reason to get any of the training questions wrong. Everybody should have a hundred percent. But then you'll finish it and you'll submit it. You'll submit your scores to me. I'll be able to see your scores when I come and check to see what your progress is. Okay. So right now I'm just going to hit save and exit. After you've taken the training test, then what you want to do is come through and take the testing mode test. So concept review one, we just did training. Now I want to do testing mode. So the big thing on testing mode is you don't have any help. There's a timer that shows you how much time you have left. Everything else is the same. It just doesn't tell you whether you got it right or wrong until you're 100% done with the test. All right. So that's the whole geometrics thing. So in Schoology, you're, you're going to submit to me that you've completed it. You've completed training mode and what your score was. Submit, take a snapshot of it and send it to me. You do the same thing for testing mode and send me a snapshot. All right. I'm going to go back out and check and make sure that those scores are accurate but that's where you'll do it. You'll submit here and you'll send me a snapshot or type me a message telling me what your scores were for the testing. Okay. Everybody has to do that. I don't care if you're a hybrid student, full-time e-learner, if you've been working on MSK 12, it doesn't matter. Everybody, every student in my class must do this geometrics testing. All right. So I think that's it for the week. If you have any questions, make sure you join the Teams meeting or message me and we'll help you with whatever problems you might be having.